One of the mistakes I made in Rio was it was the first time that I got major exposure on the international level. So all of a sudden, you know, your phone's blowing up, you got 400 notifications on Facebook, you got six, 700 notifications on uh, Instagram, you got all these people messaging you, and of course, me being 20, 21 years old, I'm like, yeah, man, I gotta message everyone back. McBride falling back now as the pace picks up. Wow, I'm gassed. Why am I so gassed? McBride will drop back into about fifth, sixth place. In 2017, I look back at world championships. I had a great first round, second round, had a great second round, and you know, I got off the track and I, I thought for sure, I was like, hey, look, I, if I run the same race, I honestly think I can get a medal. Brandon McBride looked really good in the semis. Here we go then. We have no idea how this race is going to pan out. It was different because warmed up and I knew I didn't have much left in the tank. And because I did X, Y, and Z earlier in the round, the day off, I should have spent more time in bed with my legs up. Once you get to a certain level, it's no longer just about what you do on the track. There was just a, a bunch of mistakes that unfortunately I made that I know next time I'm not going to make. Something wasn't adding up for Windsor's Brandon McBride. I mean, the sport was coming easy to him at a young age. Already a multiple Canadian champion, NCAA champion, a nine-time All-American. But for some reason, the big international competition performances were eluding him. It's a learning process at the end of the day. I'm, I'm still, uh, I think I'm still young, you know, 24, 25, you know, I, still fairly young. young yeah. <laughs> I look at some of the older athletes and uh, some of the athletes that are in medal uh, places or just, you know, being in the top five at the world championships. And they, they have all had their ups and downs, you know, and I think that's just part of the sport. It's, it's a different, sort of track and field uh, once you get to that level. Uh, there's so many things you have to take into consideration, you know, and that's one of the things that I, uh, I've had to get used to. So, in the spring of 2018, McBride found his way back to former coach Kurt Downs, who had his own theory as to why this was occurring. Knowing how young he was, I mean, I just don't know if he was prepared uh, to handle three rounds emotionally, uh, mentally, and, and from a physical standpoint at, at that point. Downs had always had a way of getting through to McBride, and it appeared that it was necessary for this type of athlete-coach relationship to get McBride to another level in his career. When I made the transition last year, I knew he was the person that I wanted to go back to. Uh, just because of our relationship, we worked so well together, um, and that really helped me moving forward. About two minutes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll probably use the restroom and then do another shot and I'll be ready to rock. Okay. Ready. Sounds good. I mean, All I think right. last year is a testament to uh, how good of a decision it was because we didn't skip a beat. But, you know, last year, you know, coming out with the Canadian record and everything, it was just uh, a testament to uh, uh, that, you know, hey, uh, it, it's working. Canada's Gary Reed was a world championship silver medalist in the 800 meters back in 2007, and he set the Canadian record in 2008. McBride would make that record his in 2018. Even during the race, I, I just knew it was something special. Like I could tell the first 150 meters, and it was almost like um, my body was an autopilot, and I was just watching. And this is quick, too quick. Well, 48.97 at 400 meters, that is lively, very lively indeed. Even in that race, you know, I'm thinking like, oh man, I made a mistake. I let uh, almost get too far ahead of me and Kittle it cut in front of me. And so we kind of lost contact with almost. And I still had more left in the tank, but I had let, I let this man cut me off and we lost contact with the leader. Coach was, Coach uh, Kurt was so happy. The first thing he said is, you let that man get away. I know you had more left in the tank. And it was, it's those people that I need in my life. You know, people that are gonna push me to the limit, that know Brandon. 
2019 has been the most consistent season of McBride's career, already claiming a third place finish at this year's Diamond League final and consistently being in the mix in every race that he's competed in. Coach Down's approach has been geared towards the improvements that he deemed necessary. I think that him being able to race um, some of those elite Diamond League meets back to back um, is something that's, that's important and we've put that plan in uh, you know, to address that. You know, I think the progression says uh, um, that we're in, in the place to do something uh, maybe that he hasn't done before, and the goal is the podium. Only two runs left, so we're good. With the Olympics in 16, Worlds in 17, I always, I got to that next round not feeling so great. My goal is to get to the finals feeling really good, and I think if I can do that, on that day, it's, it's anybody's race.